since yeah according to to the direction of the discourse yes you can tell us uh what you are doing or what you agree with uh, considering the merits and the demerits of property management and the role of of the, the agents or the caretaker or or the other taxes that you have to pay tenement rates land use charge do you share it with your tenants or is it your role to pay or do you leave it all for your tenants to pay yeah all this and many more as we talk on the show yes uh the numbers are zero one two seven seven zero nine nine three uh zero one two seven seven one nine nine three zero one two seven seven two nine nine three and zero one two seven seven three nine nine three or uh the toll free line zero zero uh eight uh triple zero nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three or you can send your message via the WhatsApp number zero eight zero nine five nine seven five eight zero five. It's the real estate show life in the city the way we live and we're looking at our lives today and uh, how we can influence the real estate market uh, through proper property management. I'm Marcus Benga Akinshita, your host, and I have Chidi Kalu in the studio to share tips on property management. Yeah, the things we don't know, the things uh, we know and probably need to improve on. Right, so yes, Chidi. Okay, um, Benga, thank you. I the subject of um, property management is not is not new, but for a lot of people it is new because um, it is not enough to own a property. It is important to manage the property. The um, the real challenge in home ownership is not about acquiring, okay, or it's a, not about uh, about building, but rather about managing the property, mm. especially when that property is a is an income producing asset that uh, maybe on a regular basis you're expecting some form of um, returns or income right. from that um, property. So uh, maintaining that property or, proper, or properly managing that property comes to play because um, without proper management of that property, you cannot generate the kind of cash flow that the property ought to generate mm. for you. Mm. And, um, and when there's no management, um, you find out that um, it becomes a major issue between you and your tenants. Mm. So the real reason why a lot of people face friction between tenants and landlords is because of lack of proper property management. And we are going to go into focus um, in discussing that. Because um, where you have, um, the real, you find out that most landlords, they are usually friendly with you when you pay your, when you're about to pay your rent. And then, then tenants, are, tenants become enemies to the landlord and landlords become ten enemies of the tenants all through the period. When it comes to, you know what, you know, there is a, I, maybe a tenant starts seeing property having some defect within the cracks house. Cracks in the wall, some, cracks some, some leakage. And he complains to the, to the, to the, uh, to the landlord. Mm. The landlord has spent all the money for the rent, probably spending on vacation and holidays and all of that. But he forgot that he needs to do something on that property because that is where that is the, um, the 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 hand that produces the egg, you know. So you you must know how to take care of your property and manage your property because if you have managed your property very well, you will have good tenants. The reason why people don't have good tenants is because they are not managing the property well. So about the property management cuts across the landlord and the tenants, yeah. right? It's yeah. it's not just the duty of the landlord. It's not just the duty of the landlord. Okay, okay. So who who are the intermediaries then? between the landlord and the tenant in the case where you actually do not interact directly with your uh, landlord? Unfortunately, there are many, very few property managers. But some people call themselves property managers. They're not actually property managers. When you talk about property managers to the layman, is it yeah. the caretaker, the person they call the caretaker? I don't, I, I don't understand what that, I don't understand what that even means anyway. Well, because um, it takes care of your property. What is it taking care of? How is he managing the property? Mm -hmm. Because um, some people we can use various terms, but they are not actually they don't function in that capacity. Now, for a, a property manager is also supposed to be a caretaker, literally based on the words. Word. But sometimes yeah. we don't find that. That's why we need to be able to differentiate between who um, and who does the job of a property manager. Yes. Yeah, so who is the property manager? The property and manager what, what are is his one, roles. Is yeah. that same? Is within that word caretaker. Yeah. But um, it, it goes just beyond just you being called 
a proper a caretaker. A caretaker. The one who takes care of your property, manages the property, ensures that um, that property maximizes the, the benefit from that property is um, um, is achieved between for the landlord and also for the tenant. Okay. So it's not just only for the landlord. Yes, you are helping to produce to um to protect or to manage the most prized asset of an individual, yeah. but you are also managing the customer who is the tenant. Okay, very well said. Uh, if you're just tuning in, it's the real life to life in the city, the way we live. I am Akta Gbenga Akinshate, and uh, we are talking about property management. We talk. We are looking at the pros and cons of the services issued uh, by the landlord and also the uh, the duties of the tenant and and also where the intermediary comes to play the property manager or the caretaker as a, as the case may be yeah okay so let's let's know the the the, the tips yeah okay. of uh, the, the tips involved in property management okay um First of all, one of the things that you know, that you must find that, that about for that a, a property manager does for you is to help you with to guarantee that your cash flow is steady. Okay. Is guaranteed cash flow for guaranteed cash flow. Now a lot of people um, have um, property agents. Okay. Who actually in a way try to do the job of a property manager most of the time the the agent just help you look for the house and have, that's where it ends and you have somebody who says you know what i have a lawyer and i believe that okay that lawyer is the one who is helping me manage the property now what a property ma a manager does i'm going to list out those the basic things the five basic things that a property manager does mm -hmm. one is guaranteed cash flow two is effective property evaluation and the three is tenant screening and selection. The fourth one is record keeping and maintenance of that property. Um, then the fifth one is insurance, ensuring that the, that you have a proper insurance program. Yeah, I wonder how many people do that. In, now, yeah. that, that, that. And that is where that is where if you don't have all of this, then you don't probably have a property manager. What you just have is somebody acting like. That's why all. That's why I use the word that's so the people who act like. Yeah. who say they are caretakers but yeah. they're actually not taking care of anything right because yeah. mo, mo, like, well like i said most of the time you have the agents and once they get the house for the landlord they get a tenant for the landlord that's where it all ends the management now becomes uh it's, it's i don't see the scenario where you have because the the landlord finds it okay well i'm not so sure about the consistency of my rent so i'm not even sh confidence to probably keep the so-called agents to keep paying him a salary or a, a, a yearly or you need to you don't incidentally is a major now it's a big opportunity it's a big opportunity and i don't want to go into i don't want to go into discussing the opportunity today <laughs> but rather it's a, it's a massive opportunity for anybody who wants to take advantage of now because a lot of landlords are stressed Mm. Most landlords in Lagos, especially, are very poor. Most landlords Why? are very poor. Now, um, I'm going to just do a brief. Um, when you look at the value that people get in terms of rent, of rent, of rent on rental income, as compared to what actually their bills are, for some people who depend on that money for rent, they get to spend within the next six months, and they don't have anything. Mm. That's why you find out that oh, after a while, somebody. He can, there's a crack on the wall, he can't fix it. It's not like because he likes the crack or because he's just, he knows that is what is producing money for him, but he's not, he doesn't have that money, he has spent that money. Mm. So he found out that most landlords are broke. That's why you find out that some people who call themselves developers take advantage of these landlords by, you know, signing up a deal for the next 10 years, 20 years, 40 years or so. And um, you know what, I'm going to renovate your property and you're going to share rent with me for the next 20 years. Okay. Which I like so much. It's which you, you do, I do, like I the do, hacking I do, thing. I do the hacking thing. Mm. But you know what, it's also as a result of you not having a, property, a, pro, a proper property management system on ground yeah. that helps you maximize the reward within your property. So those are just basically things. Now go to, let us just talk about maybe for example, guaranteed cash flow. Mm. I don't need to collect my, to take rent on a monthly, on a yearly basis. If I have a property manager, I can take my uh, month, uh, rent rent on a monthly basis. I've never all the tenants that um, I am privileged to 
work with loyal people, excite uh, best of tenants because why they pay every month in Lagos. In Lagos, they pay every month. They don't pay a month on a yearly basis. Why? Because I'm real to myself. I'm real to the situation. I'm real to their income. I understand that these people earn money. Most of them earn money on a monthly basis. So it will be. It will be unrealistic for me to think that okay, you know what? I'm going to pay. They are going, these people will be gather money. If they gather money the first year, they will not gather the money the second year. So it becomes a big challenge for a lot of people mm. now because you need to look at the mathematics. This is business. It's not real estate. Is big business. I have to think in terms of how the business angle, not just looking at okay, you know what? I need one million naira this year, this time. So you know what? I want people to give me one million naira. So you gather people. Who are still traders? They are still what they earn, what they get in their from their businesses is just maybe about two hundred thousand every month, every mm. month, and you are asking them to bring one million. They are going to borrow that money, mm. and so it will take them a while to pay back that 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 um, rent, that rent. Yeah. And so before you know it, the next the twelve month is already done. So they keep they go back again to borrow, and if probably maybe they are not credit worthy, their friends won't borrow them again. Right. And so you have a situation whereby you know what, just give me six months, let me give your house. So I want to stay six months, please. Can I just stay six months and I move to the next place? So I will do the same thing that I did to no, tenant A, to and landlord A, to landlord pay. B. And that is just the same thing that happens. So it's more like it's a circle. But if you have, if you are serious about on the cash flow angle, you should be able to um, know how to cultivate your income as a landlord. Okay, well well said. Uh, for for landlords, yeah, the property manager, is is he a particular professional or does he have a... Is he a... Uh, is he a an estate value a barista who a property manager is simply a manager he has a combination of all or of these just qualities. anybody based on referral the, the no a property manager has all of these qualities okay or or have all these within a team okay. so a property manager is not just an individual it's it an organization it's an organization mm. it's um, or he has a system that works for him for, so it's not so like more like it's a corporation, a team of people. Yeah. Where you have, when you're talking about doing insurance on your property, for example. Yeah. You don't ask, you don't say okay because it's a barista, I'm going to run insurance. You don't say because I'm a bar or I'm a estate valuer because it does, there's property evaluation that will go that goes on within your property. Because how do you know what how how do you know what should de what should determine the rent that some, that you collect from somebody? Is it because Baba Deborah is collecting? They say one a particular fee that you that you want to determine that. How do you screen it? How do you screen a tenant, for example? Right, right. Very well said. Okay, let's uh, uh before we okay. Uh, when we talk about insurance, you know, definitely in reality, a lot of people are first of all not not even aware mm. of the necessity of insurance. Yeah. Secondly, they are not interested because they think it's it's uh, capital intensive. Yeah. I mean, the other time we had uh, Butchi Solomon on the show to talk about yeah, it in yeah. insurance. How, in in your field, in your experience, do you encourage these landlords that you that you hack into the property that you work with to insure their their property? Is it just only just, it's just? I think that people play a lot with ignorance, mm -hmm. and you know what they, they told us in school that knowledge is light. But you know what, what I've come to also learn is that ignorance is darkness, if knowledge is light. Now, um, for a lot of people who are not, pro they are not protecting, your, the, your real estate is, your, is probably one of your most prized assets. You need to protect it. And insurance is just about protecting your assets. Mm. It's not about, oh, you know what, give, mo um, give money to whoever and let them keep for you. It is about protecting your assets. And you need to think in terms of, oh, this thing is producing money for me or income for me. Mm. How do I protect it? I'm not an insurance person. I'm not an insurance agent. I'm not selling insurance. I'm not selling the package. But you know what? One of the things that the rich try to do on a daily basis is to protect their assets. Right. And that's what everybody must do. Mm. And that's what that's one of the reasons. Because if I, let's say, for example, I'm, I, I want to start up a business yeah. or maybe I have a business. It's only in this part of the world that you hear somebody is bringing in goods with on content, with a uh, container load of uh, maybe whatever TV sets, cars, and the likes. Then, when he hears that the things uh, maybe the get sunk into the sea, he puts his hand on his head and he's, he's crying, you know. And they're asking, Why are you crying? He said, My load, all the things, my container on the high sea, just you know, because just it when wasn't insured, because yeah. there's no insurance, mm. you know what, you need to be able to think in terms of 
how do I protect my asset? How do I protect what belongs to me? Mm -hmm. And that is just what insurance is all about. So if you are not, it also means that you are not managing your property. That's what it means. If you are not doing insurance, if you have an, somebody who is helping you manage your property and the person is not running insurance for you, you don't have a manager. You just only have, in quotes, somebody who is just overseeing the property for a while. Right. You know, that's, just, that's just it. Well said. So Lagos, you heard it. And uh, most of the time, even regardless of what we talk about, one of the most important criteria, be it a real estate in investor, a player, a landlord, a tenant, whoever, the most important criteria in your venture is due diligence. You have to be part of what you're doing. You have to be knowledgeable about what you're doing and understand uh, the processes involved. Yes, uh, it's the Real Estate Show, Life in the City, the way we live, yes. And uh, we, we have been talking about property management, avenues of financing your accommodation and, and uh, uh, the landlord tenants and uh, yes so this goes out to the landlords and the tenants right especially when we talk, talk about the monthly rents yes how many landlords do this how many tenants actually pay monthly rent and what are your thoughts what what do you prefer really are you would you accept the tenant to pay monthly is it is it ideal is it comfortable for you is it something that would actually benefit you so that they don't owe you and also for the tenants, how convenient is it? Would you want to save the bulk money or pay monthly? All this would uh, be right back uh, when we take uh, this short break and we would uh, stop taking calls and talking to Lagos. It's the Real Estate Show. Stick around. Welcome back. It's still 99.3 Nigeria Info, the nation's number one talk news and sports station. And it's life in the city the way we leave a real estate show on this station. I am Marcus Agbenga, Akin Shetter, your host, and I have Chudi Kalu in the studio, and we have been talking about property management. Yes, uh, from the part of the landlord, the part of the property manager, the part of the tenants. Yes, we've been looking at the avenues of financing your accommodation and, uh, and uh, the necessary uh, tips, yes, the role of the property manager, which uh, Chili Kali told us, yes, is to guarantee cash flow for the landlord, of course, yes, and also our uh, effective property uh, maintenance, yeah, and also uh, to, to screen the tenants, the kind of tenants coming into the property for record keeping and insurance. Some of these, yeah, uh, points to the tenants, uh, uh, to the landlord as, as his duties and also the tenant as his commitment to the house, yes, and we were talking about the monthly rents before the show and we're taking it forth yes to Lagos to the phone lines if you're either a landlord or a tenant or both right so what's yeah a lot of this ha happens abroad yeah in the UK they pay monthly and this but usually here uh, the landlords just take the bulk money yearly uh, even when there was the news that okay the landlord should take six months and all yeah I don't think I I would be shocked if it actually happened. Any landlord that took the yeah the six months is is quite mm -hmm. considerate yeah because what is typical is that the landlord prefers two years, one and a half years, and so how many landlords in reality these days? Yeah, also, some landlords also prefer five years. Yeah, five years. Yeah, and you all also have people who come and pay mm -hmm. companies who come and pay. So why would they refuse? It's mm -hmm. an it's an offer that they would yeah. actually be glad to have. So. How many tenants out? How many landlords out there prefer the monthly, uh, the monthly rent? Yes. Is it is it convenient? Does it save you from the hustle of, of, of having your tenant or you for so long? And if you're a tenant, actually, is it, is it is it good for you from a business point of view? Because sometimes, you know, if if you accumulated the monies right for another business, it could bring forth the 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 rent mm -hmm. but if you're already committing the raw cash monthly to the landlord it actually probably uh uh makes makes uh, your finances tighter so which which actually uh, uh favors you as a landlord or a tenant are uh, the numbers are zero one two seven seven zero nine nine three zero one two seven seven one 
and 0127739933 or uh, the toll free line 0803-1230247 or 0803123081 okay let's let's just hit the phone lines for a while hello 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 okay I guess I'm gonna... hello Hello? Mm, hello? Okay, uh, the numbers once again uh, are, are the toll free line 080 312 Or uh, you could call 012770993, uh, 012771993, 012772993, 012772993, and 012773993. Yeah, the phone lines are open. Or, or you uh, uh, send your messages to the WhatsApp number 0809. Five nine seven five eight zero five. Yes, we are looking at property management and uh, and uh, monthly monthly rent. Yes, paying your rent monthly. What are your thoughts? Hello. Hello, uh, Zenga, How are you? Fine. Good afternoon. What's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, my name is ben. From Hello, Ben from Aja. Tell us. Uh, are you a landlord or a, t or a tenant? Uh, yeah, I'm a landlord. Yeah, landlord. Okay, so. Yeah, you said my guest. Okay. His name is Chidi Kalu. Okay. Yes, I have like four. I think I have two for the landlord. The tenant screening, I mean, you screen your tenants. Even though so, some of you some of you avoid screening the tenants because you don't want the tenant to come and beg for you to drop the money or something. And you don't even know the kind of person coming into your property. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That is not the case. How? Mm. 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 What? They credit your account with what? Okay, okay. I yeah. <laughs> Okay, so would you would you venture into Chidikala's idea, which even happens abroad, of the monthly rent? Would you be glad to take this this uh, rent monthly? It would actually help a lot of tenants, you know. What's the, what's the name it's of the ben. Okay. ben. Ben from Aja. He's, he's a landlord in Aja. And, yeah. So you would, you would actually buy that idea, right? Okay. Okay. Regularly, monthly, yeah, because, I mean, a lot of people are sal more salary earners than businessmen, you know. So if you have the salary and they know, okay, look, whether they have to put this money aside and pay you monthly. Mm. Oh, it's a business premises. Right, so you... Um, Mr. Mean, Mr. Ben, let me, maybe I should come in. Maybe I should come in. Maybe I should come in. Now, I have a, um, a business... Um, Tennis. Place, uh, oh, okay. That uh, at a point... We oh, okay, pay, then. Thank you for calling. Okay, right. yeah. Right. Right. At, at a point, paying about 1.5 million naira on a yearly basis. And this kind of issues came up. You know what I said? I'm looking at you guys paying 200,000 naira on a monthly basis as against you paying 1.5 million naira. That is about 2.4 million naira. Now, I'm going to add certain kinds of facility within the property. Instead of you, me asking you, you know, like we talked talk, talk off air, we talked about tenement rate, yeah. we talked about land use charge, yeah. we talked about maybe um, Loma, cleaning of the place, yeah, yeah. making the place conducive mm -hmm. and all of yeah. that. So um, it makes it easier. With that with that one, I can manage that property effectively. Now what I'm also doing is that I'm also, I'm also, I also understand the particular principle, the principle of cash flow, that consistency is the key for wealth. 
mm. consistency because our bills and our expenses are daily. So we need consistency and predictability in our income. And so for major for a lot of people, you need those consistency. Mm. And but a lot of people we, what we just do is that we take our eyes off that consistency or that predictability. And we say, okay, you know what, you know what, because they're going to give me one year rent. What you need, first of all, is consistency. Right. Now, how regular will those people income come? It's going to be a month, since their income comes in every month, it makes it easier. Just the way you pay for your TV, your cable TV, yeah. and the last way you buy, where you are on subscription on a monthly basis, is the same way you should pay for your house. If that landlord, if a landlord is smart enough, because there is a problem the tenants are facing, mm. but they do not want to tell you. Right. But you know what? Because it's very difficult for yeah. them to gather yeah. the sum. Yeah. But you now take advantage of that opportunity. Yeah. The, your landlord will be glad to deal with you. Well, really, I even if you ask me, I think it's your, rather it's your a, tenant will be glad that they are dealing with you <laughs> because a, they are considerate. It seems it seems like a practical. Well, except you, you're sure of investing probably six months of your rent to get something better but if not i think it's actually safer did you see the percentage i added from 1.5 to 2.4 yes if you if you see that mathematics yeah. you will understand the opportunity for the landlord and also for the tenants yeah from 1.5 to 2.4 2.4 no now what because they are paying now because you are paying 1.5 on yes. a yearly basis, okay. which is annually. Yeah. And I decided, you know what? Pay oh, 200,000 okay. every month. Okay, now that's that is that is going to be no 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 <laughs> no no no. Now no, it's no. convenient. It's no, convenient no, no. for it's convenient for people. Why? Because first of all, I don't get to ask you for to pay for other services yeah. on that part, on that apartment. Okay. Now it's left to whoever. Now let's take for example, let us let's be practical. So talking, Someone who earns about no. hundred and fifty thousand naira on a monthly basis. So you're adding your your see your see you we should have discussed this off air before you said it on no, air. No, you're not actually because the landlord yeah now you're adding interest in it like like it, it were a bank. If you're telling me that I have to pay one hundred and twenty if I'm gonna if if it's two point five annually or four that that means I'm paying two hundred per month. If it were sorry, if it were one point five in a year, yeah. that's that's the rent. Mm -hmm. But if I were to pay monthly I'm paying about two point four. So that means that you've increased each month by about seventy five thousand. The the simple arithmetic is this because you have a situation with many and that is why you have a lot of landlords that are because they are not sincere with their with with what the f the rental fee should be on a yearly basis. Mm. That's when you now have those problems where you, a landlord now asks you, the tenant, to pay. Now just imagine that you live in the part I know that where you ever anybody lives now, where? they pay for okay. their, they pay their loma themselves. Yes, Do you understand. Well, we some pay, people pay. pay myself, some people yeah, yeah. Some people pay yeah. as much as land, the land you charge on the property. Honestly, now I wouldn't even think the landlord should pay that you understand right. so now it's because you you have what is all encompassing mm -hmm. what you also want is that you are looking for convenience and ease of payment mm -hmm. and that is what you as a tenant is look that's the advantage that you get doing this mm -hmm. and also because you also know that when the, once there's a leakage somewhere the landlord will not ask me to come and fix that thing because I know that it can be guaranteed there'll be a guarantee because the landlord wants consistency so I can, it can engage whoever it is to come and fix the door that has been bad, mm. because there is something that is coming in on a monthly basis. Right. So he, there's what we call that predictability gives him that edge to be able to fix that apartment. Right. Anybody who has tried it, you find out that they have more smiling tenants mm. and smiling landlords, right. because you are right in the middle, taking care of both ends. Right. Hello? But for it, sorry, hello. Yes, uh, what's your name and where are you calling from? Good afternoon. Okay, good afternoon. Okay, engineer Olusha, you sound like a landlord. Are you a landlord? Uh, definitely. <laughs> yes. So. <laughs> okay, okay. So tell us your thoughts, right? <laughs> okay. No problem. Right, right. Okay. Mm. 
Definitely. Wait a minute. This is my landlord, you know. <laughs> Mr. Shego. <laughs> Thank you for calling, Mr. Shego. <laughs> right there on the spot. We're all done. We're all done. <laughs> well, well done. Well done. Thank you for calling. <laughs> Thank you for calling, Mr. Shego. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> No problem. Chodokalu is vast like that. Thank you for calling Mr. Shagan. Thank you for being there. Yeah, and I must say he's a he's a nice man though, really. And they he's I said to him with the things he's he's tried to do in the neighborhood, you know, lights and stuff that look you should just contest for the local government uh put, yeah. Yeah, because I don't know what they are doing and, and he has he has tried his own part mm. really beyond his property as a landlord yeah. that are uh, transformer and this and that and even the other landlords are not even cooperating with yeah, him yeah. they're not cooperating at, at all and it, it gets to an extent like they think probably he's he's taxing it but like every, everyone is suffering this situation mm. and he's the only one in his own mindset yeah. to actually get things done yeah really it's it's quite pathetic and but he's a great guy yeah uh let's let's uh okay we, we, we lost another call. Okay, yeah, it's the real estate show. We'll be rounding up soon, and we have been talking landlord, tenant, right, and uh, the role of landlords and tenants, and the way forward, really. What can we do to make our business? What can we do to make tenancy and uh, landlordship more conducive? Yeah, which one would you uh, prefer to to earn monthly to to get from your tenant monthly or or by annually or yearly yeah hello hello good afternoon good afternoon what's your name and where are you calling from my name is Olajide. i'm calling from ikeja okay mr Olajide from ikeja yeah tell us yeah you know i think for someone who is in the yes Yeah. Yeah, that's mm. It happens. It happens. Oh, oh. It happens. The laws are there anyway. Yeah, yeah. The laws yeah, are there. Yeah, the thing anyway. is, the laws are there, but yeah. the enforcement. Yeah, yeah. yeah the enf mm. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how can you be in court? Let me ask you, my dear brother, how should I be in court? Yeah. 
Don't take them to court. <laughs> yeah. And that is. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. yeah. Very well said. Thank you very much for calling, Mr. Ola today. Yes, uh, the real estate show life in the city, the way we live. Yes, I'm architect Benga Akin Shete, your host, and with Chidi Kalu, we have been uh, dissecting and 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 deliberating on the way forward on on our uh, accommodation, landlord, tenant, payment, taxes, uh, the guarantee of getting your money, the guarantee of paying your landlord as a when. Do you? Yes, I mean a lot of tenants, a lot of us tenants are guilty of this. But I'm still talking about this monthly, where it's more expensive to pay monthly. It's not really. actually expensive. No, um, if it's not the same figure, if you're paying 1.2 million in a year, yeah. then I should pay 100,000 per month. Now, because <laughs> what are you what you're doing at that stage? Yeah. You're doing what we call bulk payments. Mm -hmm. So there ought to be certain kinds of discount for you. Now because yeah, but the default yeah, is the yeah, bulk yeah, payment. Yeah, and yeah, it the is. default is yeah, the bulk payment. Yeah. So now what what you're doing is what is applicable in other parts of the country. Your 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 let's take for example in your, the U, in the US for yes, example. Yes, you're breaking the it average down. house on the mm. month, on the yearly basis for, for a two bedroom mm. is probably maybe about five hundred dollars if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. uh, if you quantify that amount on the month on the, in 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 our own term. Mm. Um, it is much more easier for them that, for them there. Why? Mm -hmm. Because the landlord is able to provide certain service that you will, that you require. The reason why we have fights between us and ten landlords and tenants because the landlord is not providing any form of service. Mm -hmm. It's just okay, pay and pack in. Sometimes you have to fix electricity yourself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to do water yourself. without it with, uh, with a vacancy mm -hmm. so because you know that if there is a vacant property yeah. that he will not get his rent for that particular month mm -hmm. so what he wants to now do is that he takes care of you like a customer who is a customer a customer purchaser somebody who is accustomed to paying you on a monthly basis mm -hmm. or regularly mm -hmm. so that's what you're looking for here so you're looking for you are converting tenants to customers Customer. customaries payer or customaries customary buyer that's what you're looking for so and that's what you're going to get, which is that guaranteed cash flow. The other thing is that okay, you also need to do proper screening because you can't do it for everybody. I think that's what um, the last caller was talking about. You mm. can't do it for everybody. Mm -hmm. Now because there are certain people yeah. that you would definitely do for a yearly basis. Yeah, yes, like there are yes, some yes, loans sure. that you want to obtain. You cannot obtain loan for um, as a as an employer or as a self-employed. Okay. In certain, there are some quick cash loan that they yeah, are available in town no because there is no consistency no in. So you need to income. look at that Thank for you. such kind of individual. What is the consistency of his income? So if he has a regular income or maybe about, you don't put somebody that is earning one hundred fifty thousand and give the person to pay sixty thousand every month. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not, it's not a wise decision to do. Right. So you bet you can screen and select that um, tenant at that stage. Very well said. Okay, let's pick one more. Oh no. Okay. Uh, please turn down the volume of your set when you call into the show. Yes, uh, we are rounding up on the real estate show talking about landlord tenants. Yes, actually, we just wanted to talk about yeah, the avenues of financing 
accommodation, the property management and rental income and how can we do that without talking about the landlords and the tenants. Let's let let's quickly uh, talk about the tenement rates, yes, yeah. before we round up. We don't have time, yes. So tenement rates. Who pays tenement rates? You said anybody. That doesn't work. Now it depends I mean, on it depends on the structure that is available that is on ground. Mm. I'm not on the side of the tenant, not I'm on the side of the landlord. I'm not on the side of being of the government. <laughs> <laughs> now because government will charge you certain kinds of bills. Yeah, like the there are two kinds of tax that okay. they do charge you: property income tax and property and um, land use charge. So let's let just speak this one call and run. Hello, hello. Yes. Good afternoon. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, yes, we can hear you loud and clear. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, are you a landlord or tenant? Okay. Yes. Sorry, are you a landlord or a tenant? Hello? He can't hear me. Yeah. 